Hey everyone, thanks for clicking on this video, and uh, this is CMPM Studios here, and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to create a basic handwriting effect in Adobe After Effects CS4. It will work in any other version, so don't worry if you have CS3 or anything before that. Uh, this is really easy. You guys have probably all seen this. Um, uh, I wouldn't say it's like too advanced, but it's kind of advanced. Um, Alright, so first open up your Adobe After Effects. Um, go File, New, New Project, and then go Composition, New Composition. You can name it something. I'm going to go Hand Writing, just, and you can mess around with settings. I'm just going to keep it normal. Um, I'm going to put this at, I guess, 400 or 200 is good, so you guys can see it. Alright, so uh, first, uh, click the text tool, and just like in Photoshop, draw, draw a box and just uh, type whatever you want to be writing. So I'm going to do CMPM Studios, and uh, I'm going to pick a good font here, so I'm going to highlight it. It's going to be a cursive font because uh, the cursive looks a lot better. Um, uh, here a cursive font is. It's called Brush Script STD. Um, works fine. I like it. Um, so first, before we do anything, highlight it and I'm going to change the color. Um, uh, this time I think I'm going to have this color as a darker blue like that because I think that looks pretty sweet. Um, uh, you can choose your color, so uh, once you've done that, you can also make your text a little bit bigger by highlighting it and then hitting this drop down and uh, making it bigger like that. And uh, once you've done all this, going to want to go to the effect. Wait. Make sure you're uh, like clicked on that. Now go to effect. Um, it'll be generate and then it'll be stroke and uh, you can zoom up using your scroll wheel uh, there's nothing yeah we don't really want to need to do anything right now so uh, first um, once you're uh, like close up on your thing like I want to be close but not too close so you know uh, then grab your pen tool and uh, Qu quickly, or I'm going to do it quickly, you're not going to need to because you're going to have a lot more time than me because YouTube has a 10 minute rule. I'm going to try to make this tutorial fast, but uh, it may not be that uh, quick. Alright, so pretty much just, you know, with your pen tool, draw uh, around the lettering. Try to s make it stay in the middle as much as possible. And uh, just kind of draw around. Just try to keep it in the middle. This is pretty easy. I'm going to try to be quick on it, though. So, you know. But this... Uh, Sony Vegas does not have this pen tool, so you cannot do this effect in Sony Vegas. So please don't ask me. Alright, on the T here, I'm just going to do that. Kind of create more of a cross. And bring it down. But yeah, Sony Vegas doesn't have this tool, so uh, please don't ask if you know we can make a tutorial for this, because you can't. So hopefully you have After Effects if you're watching this. And uh, I'm going to kind of zoom out and grab this tool to zoom back in. And then grab my pen tool again and keep drawing. As I go along, I'm not doing the greatest job here. But, uh, you know, hopefully you guys will do a lot better job. For the eyes, just kind of go up like that. And, uh, I'm almost done here, so it shouldn't be too much longer. Alright, one more letter. 
Alright, obviously I didn't do the greatest job on this, but it will work for me. I mean, sorry I don't have an example to show you guys. Alright, so that is what it looks like right now. Alright, um, uh, check. So, once you're here, check all masks, and then go to the brush size, and bring it just a little bit bigger till it kind of fills that space. So like that, it's filling the space pretty good. Uh, you might want to make the color like a red so it's more visible instead of that white. That white is really weird to see. And uh, once you've done that, you can come down and hit reveal on the image. And uh, hit, hit this little arrow here. And then the arrow on effects, hit that. And then the arrow on stroke, do that. Now we're going to be doing some keyframing here. Uh, so click on the end uh the end button here, or the end clock, as I should say, and uh, bring that to zero. So we're going to be keyframing. I'm going to make mine around uh, five seconds. Yeah, five is good, or five and a half, or whatever that is. All right, and uh, once you bring it there, bring the end all the way up, so then it will write. If you want to see it, go to... Uh, let me find it real quick. Kind of different. Uh, sorry, guys. Alright, so I think it's a composition and then add render queue. But I may be wrong, which I think I am. So exit out of that. Sorry, guys. Uh. Alright, uh, figured out. Sorry, guys. Alright, so, um, composition, and then save RAM preview. And, as you can see, it's rendering right now, so this is not as fast as it'll be rendering right now. So, uh, once this is finished, I will, uh, show you guys the finished product. Um, you can also put, like, a background image in it, so, you know, it looks a little bit better. Uh, as you can see, I didn't do the greatest job, but, you know, pretty I think I actually did a pretty good job because there's not any bad parts and looks good all right so uh, this is gonna want me to save it real quick so I'm just gonna save it to my desktop all right so I saved it all right I'm gonna show you guys it all right there it is so just gonna wait real quick here while it's rendering again sorry guys <coughs> Alright, so there the finished product is. Alright, here it is. And, or I can't show it to you right now because apparently it's rendering. What you're going to want to do is uh, just do that. Um, if you guys liked this tutorial, uh, please subscribe. Uh, we have comedy videos and other videos coming up, so uh, please subscribe and uh, more tutorials and trying to become a partner so please subscribe all right thanks guys